and outside the box reviews, we are looking at the Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the 2012 TV series, and this is Donatello. Must admit, as a child, Donatello was my least favorite of the Turtles. I thought his weapon was the absolute lamest. I really just, it's a stick. It was a stick. I mean, granted, on the playground, what the heck was easier than grabbing a piece of wood? You had his weapon, basically. You can grab a branch off a tree. But when you're a kid, a branch off a tree is just as easily a katana. However, as time's gone on, I've developed an affection for this character, just like I have the rest of the Turtles. I mean, he's no less a part of the team, and really no reason why I should like him any less than the others. So, let's check out this new figure. As with his other brothers, he comes with a lot of weapons. Here's his classic bow. Which is pretty nicely detailed, looks like real wood. It's larger here at one end than it is at the other. It has wrappings in the middle. As I mentioned with Michelangelo, really needing and paint job added to it. I love the kind of nostalgic Playmates toys, all one color plastic to some weird degree, but I think I will add some white paint in here to accent the wrappings on it. Donatello also comes with this. Now, I don't know what this is called exactly, or even it has a name. It is the bow staff, but it is segmented into three pieces with a little bit of chain connecting each piece. Obviously, it's hard molded, so it's stuck in this kind of Z shape, but... It's kind of cool looking. It's still the same shape, still the larger on one end, actually this end here, than it is on the other. But I really don't know what it's for or what you do with it or how he would really use it. He holds it just fine. There's no reason why he can't hold it and do stuff with it. I really don't understand how it would really work practically. The other weapon he has, which is the one that I'm most excited about, is a Naginata. Now apparently they may be switching him over to this weapon in the TV series, which is interesting. A Naginata is one of my favorite samurai weapons. It's a really cool design. That's really neat looking. Nice little blade here. Once again, it needs to be painted to look metal. Wrappings as well. Has the big end here at the bottom. Another weapon he can hold very easily. Very cool looking. And it will also fit in his holster in the back just as the normal bow staff will. Either of them, you just slide right in there. And just chill on his back there. Which is great. That's what you want. Seems like all the turtles come with a throwing weapon, so Donnie's no different. He has this really cool looking... It's not even like a shuriken. It's almost like... Uh, what the heck's that thing that Xena had was called? The... Yeah, my girlfriend's gonna be pissed. I can't remember what Xena's weapon's called. A chakram or something like that? It's kind of similar to that. Really cool looking. Got some nice designs on the interior and the exterior. I'm going to paint this up as well. I don't know if I'm going to do all silver or leave some of the brown and make it look like it's a wood grain and parts of it. I'm not really sure what I want to do with it. But it's a cool looking piece. And he holds it fairly well, which is great. It's what you really want out of a figure. He could hold his weapons. Imagine that with the Michelangelo. It's still... It impresses me. I've seen so many of these figures that they can't do anything with their weapons. It's nice to have one that could actually hold his own. As for Donatello himself, he's a fairly tall figure in this line. You bring in Michelangelo, and you can see he's about half a head shorter. So Donatello definitely is a taller turtle, and you can see it's not only just in his neck, but in his legs as well that gives him that extra height, which is a nice detail. It's actually more proportionate and not just extending out one part of the turtle to give him a greater height. I like it. You can also see his shell is a different shape, which is also really cool. I like the non-reuse of parts on this. Donnie's more of a pale green, which is a really nice color on him. He has a lot more of that wart detail that Michelangelo did. A lot of texture in his skin. Really, really nice detail on that. I really enjoy that about these figures. Really, really enjoy that. And the head sculpt's decent, he has his mouth shut, he has a little bit of a smirk going on. I'm glad they shut his mouth on this figure, because apparently with the new cartoon, he has a gap in his front teeth, and I think it looks really ridiculous. It really kind of looks too silly to me. And I'm glad this figure doesn't have those teeth exposed. This guy's bandana, it's a nice long bandana, flow. it's not even flowing off to one side, just kind of drooping, but it still looks very cool and dynamic. The paint on the mask on mine isn't fantastic. It's missing a little bit here. You can see some green creeping onto the mask. 
A good facial expression for Donnie, though. I like it. He has his belt. Goes all the way around and droops over his shoulder. Once again, I don't like these dip-ins on the shell. Just really unrealistic looking. Nice holder on the back to hold his bow, as I mentioned before. Back of his shell is nicely detailed as well. He has his brown elbow pads and the brown on his wrist pads is actually a little duller almost a grayish brown if that's even possible not the same color as mikey's so this has hand wraps his knee pads which are differently sculpted than the other turtles all of them are individual so it's a little different texturization and cuts and grooves and also the grayish brown wraps on his feet his big Gigantic three-toed feet, which I don't have a problem with. Once again, I really don't have a problem with it. Shell is also rubberized. He has some scratches up here. Some little battle damage, which is nice. I like battle damage on my turtles. Shows that they've been out there fighting Shredder. For articulation, Donatello has a ball-jointed head. Pin socket shoulders up and down. Good range of motion. Hindered by the shell, of course. Bend at the elbow. You can rotate at the elbow as well. You can rotate the wrist. As with Michelangelo, it's a pain in the butt that when you try to rotate the arm sometimes, you rotate the wrong part. It's just all too tiny in this part right here. But the proportions are good. I do like the proportions on the turtle itself. So I'm not really complaining about that. I'm complaining more or less about just practical moving the articulation here. He has a pin socket leg joint, so you can rotate it to go different directions. You can move with the shell, which is great. It is hindered going back because of the shell, but you get some good leg extensions going on there. You can bend and swivel at the knee, and nothing in the foot. The shape of Donatello's body hinders his posability a little bit. You can't get that cool kicking move going on, as I did with Michelangelo. I've also had trouble getting him to do any kind of handstand or headstand. Just the shape of him is just not as good for that. Michelangelo was balancing a little bit on his mask part back here, and Dantello's going straight down doesn't really lend to that. Also, his increased leg length and height throws him off balance a little bit when you try to get him kicking. Plus, you can't quite get this leg where you want it to go to get him in that kicking stand. His articulation still is very nice, though, and you can still get a really good range of poses out of him, just not quite as many as Mikey. Overall, Donatello is an essential part of the set. You're going to get the other brothers. you got to get Donatello. I think he may be my least favorite of the group as far as posability-wise. His weapons are really cool, though. I love the Naginata. I love the fact that he has this really pale green color. I like that he's taller than the other ones. So he has a lot of pluses going for him. It's that posability that kind of bugs me because Mikey and some of the other turtles are so impressive. Donatello lacks a little bit. However, still a good figure, still going to recommend him, just not as strongly as the others. Make sure you check out Outside the Box Reviews on Facebook, where I post toy finds that I get during the week, and other random toy collecting bits on there. And until next time, this has been another Outside the Box Review. Stay tuned for more to come.